Hello everyone, I'm Max Bauer from Energetic City. This is the Community Roundup brought to you by Brad's Furniture and Appliances. Today I'm here with Mar Marco D'Agostino, am I saying that yeah, right? D'Agostino. D'Agostino, okay. Yeah. How are you doing today? I'm doing well, thank you. Yes. Good, thank you for having me. This, this place is look, looking amazing. So, it is, yeah. So, yeah, how, how is the morale of the fire department? Really thing? good, yeah, really good. Yeah, and any, uh, anything exciting happening? Uh, nothing uh, overwhelming at this point, right? Gearing up for uh, potentially uh, busy wildfire season. Yeah, of course. I saw in a Facebook post a little while ago that uh, you got around 55 uh, fire fires and, and alarms reported. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, you know, over the winter season, is that yeah. accurate? Yeah, that's, that's pretty accurate. Um, when we report out on the fire, that includes um, anything to do with the, the fire end of things. So it's going to be alarms ringing, actual fires, and hazmat calls as well. So, Yeah, is that about average, above or below? Um, we're a little bit above where we have been. We've been progressively getting uh, busier, um, and then we've got taken on a lot more medical calls as well, which has made us even more busy. So. Yep. Is that unusual for the winter season? I don't think so. I think it's a pretty steady progression. Yeah. Um, but all in all, we haven't had anything serious and yet not gone wintering. So. Yeah, of, of course. Our yeah, you mentioned earlier that we're getting ready for the fire season. Mm -hmm. So, well, what has the fire department been doing ahead of that? So, um, we're obviously uh, preparing all our um, our brush trucks and stuff like that, um, making sure all our wildland gear is in order, and um, just monitoring things right now. Um, a lot of talk with our neighboring departments with uh, you know wildfire mitigation plan and that kind of stuff. I see. And uh, what's something that residents can do, do to uh, be prepared? Uh, I think um, the best thing is is obviously just being aware of the, the situation. Like we didn't, we had a very mild winter, not a lot of snowpack, and you know things are really dry out there. So just ensure that you're aware. Um, don't discard any cigarettes out in, out out of your vehicle or in the bush, that kind of stuff. Um, if you're having a campfire, make sure that you're always present and don't leave it unattended. Make sure it's out once you're, you're done with it completely, not just a little splash of water. And um, I, I think awareness is, is the biggest key. And um, if, you, if you live in an area where you've you know, got some trees and stuff like that, uh, make sure you do some fire smarting around your home. Keep the, uh, the trees away from the home so that you know, if something does come up, it doesn't actually get your home as well. So, um, the, the province, I believe, is going to be putting on some category two and three um, restrictions coming up here fairly quickly, so there will be no burning other than campfires at this point, which, depending on what the season may do, will probably uh, get restricted as well. So. Yeah, uh, all sound, sounds like amazing advice. I, I also see from the Facebook page that uh, 424 training hours were completed. Yes, that, yes. That, that's for departments. How, how does that how does that work? Well, that's that's what we do. We we constantly train. <laughs> um, part of our job is to train to make sure that we're ready for any event. So, um, you know, there's sometimes there's downtimes, or we might not have specific fires all the time or specific calls, but we're always training on it for those calls. I see. It's good, good to know that the fire department is always well trained, so it's very good, good to appreciate your service. Are there any other important announcements that the fire department would like to make? Um, not that I can think of right now. Um, for my, my branch, the fire um, inspection branch and uh, community safety, we, um, we do a lot of fire investigations within in buildings, so um, our job is to make sure the building is safe, that you know, they're do, taking a proactive approach to fire prevention, so um, um, it's been very busy in that aspect, and yeah. All right, well, that all sounds amazing. Thank, awesome. thank, you, thank you so much for joining me today, you Marco. I hope, hope to come back here. I've always enjoyed my time, awesome. too. Thank you so much. All Cheers. right, have a good day. Right. Bye now. One, once again, I'm Max Bowder from Energetic City. This is the Community Roundup brought to you by Brad's Furniture and Appliances. Have a good day.